Good morning and happy NASCAR Xfinity Series race day from the World Center of Racing. We actually got qualifying going on right now, and I'm going to actually shed this jacket because it's warming up here at Daytona Tom Just Bowles. A Just a little bit. Uh, but before we get to Xfinity, I want to talk to you a little bit about the truck race last night. Are you still kind of on a, on a high from that incredible finish that we saw? I tell you, one person who hasn't come down, Jordan Anderson. Yeah. My God, yeah. was that not the best second place reaction of all time? Greatest interview I've seen in a while. Oh my God, NASCAR Thunder 2003 reference. Yeah. Just jumping up and down. He went in the media center after, shook everybody's hand. That one, I, I, we haven't seen a race in a while that's had side stories that are much bigger than the race winner. I don't think anybody today actually remembers Grant Enfinger won the race. It was all Natalie Decker, fifth place, best finished by a female driver in Truck Series history. And then Jordan Anderson, what an amazing near win coming off turn four. You thought he had it, and then Enfinger did just enough to preserve the win. And it's funny because Enfinger last year won the regular season championship but didn't win a race, and that proved costly in the first round of the playoffs. So now he got that monkey off of his back. Like I said, we got Xfinity Series qualifying going on right now. I'm curious, do you have any driver on your mind that maybe is not a among the first few that may come to people's minds that you're looking at today and say, maybe this guy can steal one? Well, somebody that came on hot, I felt like, the end of last year, Brandon Jones. He enters this year with a little bit higher expectations. Great paint scheme, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And he's sitting there with pressure. He feels like he needs to win. He needs to stand out. Everybody's talking about Christopher Bell. Everybody's talking about some of the other JGR standouts. You almost forget he's even with them. And I think in a weaker Xfinity Series field this year, he gets off to a strong start. He could stand out, make himself known, and then put him on the Cup Series radar, maybe. Speaking of the Cup Series, we got one Cup Series final practice today, the fourth and final practice in preparation for the Daytona 500. It is here, Tom Bowles. I'm so excited, and I know you are too. So be sure to check us out on patreon.com slash frontstretch and follow along on our social channels all weekend long for all the coverage from Daytona.